Members of the body, I'd like to ask your indulgence to please consider this amendment for third reading. The amendment states that a political subdivision receiving aid from the local government fund that files a lawsuit in federal court against the state or another political subdivision must remit to the state treasurer in an amount equal to the distribution that political subdivision receives from the local government aid to subdivision. Disputes between political subdivisions, between the counties, between the cities, between the state, these need to be settled either in state court or they need to be settled here in the General Assembly. We don't need to be sending monies to our cities and our counties so they can sue us in federal court. There's, um, there's an issue down in the city of North Charleston dealing with a rail solution, a potential rail solution. The city of North Charleston has petitioned the court, given it 60 days notice that it intends to file a suit in federal court. This would be, I think, an unwise lawsuit because there's a lot of things that would be up in the air, including a potential rail solution for North Charleston. It asks for um, things that, 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 that could potentially harm our ability to expand our port in North Charleston. And what this does, it says, if you're going to go to court with us, at least, at least don't do it with the money that the state sends you. And so if there's, unless there's any questions about the intent of this, Senator Charleston, what purpose do you rise? Senator, this aim at my mayor in North Charleston? This is, this is aimed at any city or other political subdivision that sues the state in federal court. In, uh, if you want to sue in federal court, don't do it with the money the state sends you. I mean, once the money is thrown in a big basket, how you would know? What's that? <laughs> once the money is thrown in a basket, how would you know? Oh, you, you, you know. You know? You know, yeah. We, they, they, they know, they know every, every municipality or city, they understand what amount they'll be receiving from aid to subdivision. So, so we know what that amount is. But you know, now you, you and I know North Charleston really don't need no money from the state on no subdivision. Not the kind of money they got. Well, Senator, I, I do believe that um, um, if we're going to be sued, don't sue it with the money we send you. But doesn't that, don't that sound good to you, though? What's that? You go <laughs> yeah, you, you violated the uh, agreement by North Charleston, and you're saying that they don't have the right to sue you with your own money? I'm just saying if anyone sues this, any political subdivision of the state decides to sue the state in federal court, not state court, in federal court, then you need to send us back uh, to aid the subdivision we sent you. Some Kershaw, what purpose you rise? Mr. Would the Senator yield for questions? Senator yields. Senator, I'm trying to understand, um, but I don't think I quite do yet. So if, you, if there's a federal issue, a federal question, right, mm -hmm. and it's being litigated, why wouldn't you want that in federal court? If a municipality, if a subdivision of the state right. sues the state right, for violating in federal, federal court. For violating a federal issue. In federal court then they would lose their aid to subdivision. I'm just saying, I, I'm just trying to figure out why. Time, time has expired to speak on the amendment. I, I would love to carry this conversation for, for at least 10 more minutes, but let's, let's, have, let's have a positive vote on it and continue. Question before the body is agreeing to consider the amendment. All in favor, aye. aye. All opposed? No. Motion carries.